What is up, everybody? Fifth Leaf here, coach of the Central Mass Clovers. This is VBA Draft League Week 8, and we are up against the Sussex Sableyes. I am equally as nervous as I am excited for this match. Um, now, what you see here is my typical Paris Trap team from what we drafted. Um, you've seen most of these boys a couple times. There's a few switch changes. Uh, like we brought Coco, we don't usually bring Coco. Um, so, my thought process going into this match was he's going to hard prepare for Paris Trap. Um, he's a very fantastic player. He's the only one in the league that's 7-0 right now. Um, I losing the last two rounds in a row. I don't think it's possible for me to get in top four, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think I have to win all the rest of my matches um, to get even the possibility of getting there. But either way, um, with that, I'm looking at this as more of like a fun uh, match that I've been excited for since round one uh, I've been waiting for this match um, unfortunately I wasn't able to prep as much as I would like to because the day that I took for prep we actually lost internet because there was an accident on my road um, that took down the uh, internet lines so let me do a quick rundown uh, we're bringing Santa Conda because he is the face of this team uh, we wouldn't have this team without Santa Conda um, he was a super sleeper pick that no one expected um, but he does some uh, damage. I thought about running him with the assault vest again, but you know what? No, we're gonna go back to our roots. We're gonna go to what we know, right? So plus we like to protect, and maybe we'll click glare. <laughs> maybe we'll click glare this round. Uh, got the tell. We're doing the fake out ally switch, uh, light screen psychic, with the typical shadow tag. Um, I pop a berry for the defense. Um, this is defense berry for the HP. Um, Lapras, we're running Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Parasong, Protect, Shell Armor, so he can't be crit. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon that I cal him to survive certain hits, so we just cannot get crit. So I went with that. Um, plus, personally, I believe that it's his best ability. I know people will disagree with me, but oh well. Gengar with the Cursed Body and Focus Sash. We've seen this kind of setup before. Uh, we're doing the Paris Song, Protect, Shadow Ball, Ally Switch. This is the first time we're running Ally Switch on Gengar. But our opponent has a sun mode, um, and I feel like ally switch on switching into Tapu Koko is going to be really helpful, possibly. Um, so we'll see. Um, Tapu Koko, I'm running the Rain Dance Tapu Koko um, with the Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Protect. This is because he likes to set sun. He has a Drought Nine Tails. Um, he really likes to set sun because he also has the Gigantamax Venusaur. Um, I'm using the Kabaya Berry um, so that I can take half damage and I tested it on Showdown and he will survive um, a max ooze so he will be able to set the rain. Um, and you know what? He hasn't put in much work but we are bringing in Wobbuffet. I will be damned if Wobbuffet doesn't do something uh, this, this tournament. So um, without further ado, uh, I'm going to message my opponent right now and we're going to set up. We did plan for 1 o'clock. It is now 12.58. Eastern Standard Time um, so yeah either way um, good luck have fun uh, I'm terrified of this team but uh, maybe we could be the first to take a dub uh, against this team um, so yeah enjoy the match all right so we are just searching for our opponent um, and yeah this will be fun I'm super excited uh, super terrified um, Pokemon to look out for are are those Venusaur um, the Rotom uh, and his kill leader, the Barbarical. Although I feel like I'm most prepared for the Barbarical. Um, and I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Venusaur. I got very mixed feelings about it. It also depends on how he runs it, obviously. Um, I've tested Calx a, a, um, against a bunch of different types of Venusaurs, and none of them are really in my favor. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do, I don't know, random. There we go. I was, I've been looking for random. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Hell yeah. All right. So he is bringing the Venusaur. He is bringing hard sun. Um, so what we're going to do here. Um... He is bringing Mimic U2. So 
So how about we do all right, we'll do Coco and we'll do who's a good song user for us. Um I'd like to say Gengar. And then we'll bring Gothitelle this time. Do we need Gothitelle? We might. We might. Santa Con is going to be really helpful here, so we can at least guarantee that's coming. Um, I just don't know how I feel about Gothitelle versus Lapras. I think I like Lapras. Yeah, I think I like Lapras. <sighs> This is scary. All right. I do like his card. His trainer card is sick. I want to change my background. Although, because originally I picked it as like a joke, but we'll see. He's a very talented player. All right, we'll see how this plays out. Venusaur Nine Tails, which is pretty much, which is, which is like the lead I, um, I practice against. So I just didn't practice with Gengar. All right, so we're gonna click Rain Dance right away. And then we'll go right into Protector Pair Song. Let's do Protect. I'm faster than Ninetales. Uh, I'm not faster than Venusaur, but I do have the berry to survive a Sludge Wave or a Max Ooze coming from the Venusaur, no matter what he's using, whether it's Life Orb, Assault Vest, um, etc. The question is, does he go for Coco? Who does he see as a bigger threat? Does he see Coco as a threat? Or does he see Gengar as a threat because of potential terror song? Because that kind of matters. Either way, we should be faster than him next turn. Ooh, we don't like that. We actually didn't account for the fake tears. And he goes for the quake. Okay, so saw through our plan. All right, and we lost this game. <laughs> Jesus. to click it we have to play the risky play we, we can't kill Venusaur without anything without Paris Trap I mean so there's a couple things we can do next round we can do the same lead right with Gengar he hasn't seen ally switch on Gengar yet He's only seen Ally switch on Gothitelle in past games. Yeah, we'll still survive that. I think. Yeah, no, we can't win this now. I didn't account for fake tears. I'm not gonna lie. And that, I still don't see how that killed.
All we have is Lapras. Lapras dies to literally anything that he has from the Venusaur, especially if she fake tears us again. Um, I like Hydro Pump into, oops. I like Hydro Pump into Ninetales and I like, I don't want to reveal the ally switch here. I think we have to, unfortunately. God, the fake tears, bro. How does Gengar eat that? <laughs> I know the sun's out, but Jesus Christ. All right, that's game. dude I'd like to get a fucking kill I'd like to have them die the Ferris song at least I mean I came into this knowing I was gonna get throttled right get the freeze yeah that's dead unless I somehow evade leaf storm yeah no that's game big tears is stupid I just got four owed bro Yeah, sure, I'll take the trainer card. What do I do? <laughs> the only thing I have is fake out. The only thing I have is fake out. But see, he's going to see that coming. We literally have to set the rain before we do anything. I still like Gengar. And instead of Lapras, I like Sandaconda. Let's do it. Good luck. Have fun. Bro, I better not get forward again. I swear to God. Same lead. Dude, when we practiced this on Showdown, I kind of built what I thought he was going to bring. I tested against the um, Nine Tails Venusaur. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't account for fake tears. I did not account for fake tears. We're gonna still try to go for the rain dance. This is our only shot, really.
or we could have allied switch that would have probably would have been a better play but he actually he's seen ally switch on so does he expect the ally switch or does, he probably expects the fake out right so we should have went for the ally switch because gothitel wouldn't have died to a max quake Yeah, I should have ally switched. That was the better play. Because I died to a max quake here. Vine Lash. Okay, who's that into? Oh my god, thank god we survived this. Does that kill? Please kill, please kill. Yes. All right. So the only reason I wanted that to kill is for a free switch. So now we go into our Gengar. And now we're faster. So we can go Parasong. He's going to go into Gengar, but what we can do here is... We might he's gonna fake tears right i don't have protect so down a sash but the vines will kill which kind of sucks yeah venus is just too good But we got Paris up, so we have something, right? Um, yeah, rock fall to boost my evasion. Uh, it won't do anything, so, um, shit, okay, um, do we Psychic or do we Ally Switch? We have screens up, so even if it, with the fake tears, we should survive, should even out. Is my thought process here? But unfortunately, I don't know if there's too much of a bring back that we can do here. Yeah, I'd rather Santa Connor not take any damage here. Really? That's not even a kill? I just wanted one kill. Will the Sandstorm take it? No? Fuck off. So what we'll do here 
He's gonna switch out. Right? Maybe he won't. I don't think Santa Cana could take his team for 1-4. Uh, so we're going to go with risky play here. Okay, with your Ninetales. Not even the Venusaur. All right. Damn, that still hit with my evasion up. And isn't that 90 um, accuracy? That's some lucky shit, dog. That did more damage than I thought it would. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's the Vine Lash. Kill this fucking Venusaur. I swear to God, we'll kill this fucking Venusaur. <laughs> oh boy. One Pokemon. Uh. <laughs> this game sucks, bro. I hate Pokemon so much. Rotom. Yeah, we die here. It's not even funny how hard we die here. We literally have to hit the rock slides. And evade <laughs> with our evasion. Wood hammer. Okay. I didn't expect a wood hammer. All right. Good games. Well, I'm going to read you something. All right. And this is funny. I'm going to read you something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I said so excited to get stomped in he responds haha i don't think that's what's gonna happen <laughs> good games ruby um yeah well i'm out of any possibility of uh top four so fun games rest of the season um let's see they well played dude thanks for the games um I think I could have played better, but thank you. So yeah, uh, that's week eight. Um, see you guys next time. <laughs>